this is going to be a pretty interesting video. I have a sneak peek of a game that I have not played all week. I'm going to show you guys that. First of all, we're going to be talking about the Nintendo Switch. Uh, you are looking at this running on a PS4, by the way. Uh, and let's see, uh, we got one, two, and then we got three. So we got, we're got we basically three weeks away from the PS4 Pro launch. And we get the Nintendo Switch, which releases in March, which is the month after February, which is the month that Persona comes out. And then you have Kingdom Hearts that comes out in January, and you have Horizon Zero Dawn. <clears throat> My question for Nintendo is, uh, why didn't you just bring it out this holiday season? Why didn't you reveal it at E3? It's awesome to be different. But sometimes that will hurt you. Now, as far as this system is concerned right now, uh, the bulk of the system of what I thought it was seems to just be a charging station, as you can see. Um, the majority of the commercial had the person away from the charging station, so I'm hoping the battery is strong. The whole commercial didn't show any interface of the system. Uh, it didn't show any achievements. It didn't show anybody playing games like Battlefield or Call of Duty. Online multiplayer titles. Um, they showed a lot of connectivity via the system if someone else also has it. Uh, like uh, ad hack mode that I saw way, way back in the day on the PlayStation Portable years and years ago. Um, as far as the... The fact that you can uh, play your system even if you're not in front of a TV. As you guys know, the PS Vita has remote play. has had it for a very long time. And wherever you have Wi-Fi, you can actually play it far away from your house. I do think it's awesome. The thing that I think is awesome is the little connect things. You can slide them off of the that version of the controller and slide them on top of on the sides of the screen right there but they also have a pro controller for the Nintendo Switch which looks awesome uh, I do not know if because I see the touchpad in the middle it is a touchpad um, I don't know if you can only play all your games with the pro controller I will be interested in getting this system just to use uh, the pro controller uh, the, the, the you know the normal controller that they have I think it's pretty interesting. Let's go over here and we, we once again we see there is no Rockstar on this list. Everybody else is there. No Rockstar. From Software is present, which means they might get one of the old Dark Souls games, which are very old by now. Uh, Activision's there, so Skylanders is also going to be there. Uh, Capcom is there, so something's coming from them, probably Monster Hunter related. Uh, we also got Ubisoft. They were heavy on the Wii U years ago. EA is there. And Take-Two Interactive is there. Um, Marvelous is there. Level 5 is there. Atlas is there. I think I said that. Grasshopper is there. Gung-Ho. There's some ja a lot of the Japanese developers that make a lot of PlayStation exclusives. So, not saying or confirming that any of those games will get ported over, but... Uh, I'm pretty sure that these developers are going to have some space for a more powerful Nintendo system. And clearly we know Sony and Nintendo is from Japan. Uh, so uh, they're probably going to be ready to put some games on that system that are also on the PS4 and PS Vita already. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to play this little Skylanders. Give you a little taste of my boy Crash Bandicoot. Um, so... Uh, I see that they have a brand new Mario. Um, and I thought, I think that's pretty badass. Um, let's see. They have a new Mario. Everything else seemed to be old. They had Elder Scrolls featured. But once again, no Call of Duty or Battlefield. Uh, they had a basketball feature, which I think was NBA uh, 2K17 or 18, whichever. Uh, let's see. A Mario Kart game. Of course, they started out with Zelda. And then they ended with Splatoon, which means, you know, it's going to be there. My problem 
with the system is it seems to have cartridges it doesn't have like disc so i'm not from what i understand or from what i can see the question is very huge if you don't understand what it is about to be you're either a nintendo fan in denial or you just don't want to see and this is what it is no blu-ray player if they're only using cartridges and they have not showed the fact that you could put a movie inside the system, the whole gameplay trailer, I mean, sorry, the whole introduction trailer, um, that arises the the prospect that you, this is just a system to play games. You can't play movies at all on it. Um, I don't know how developers will feel going back to cartridges after so long being with disc. Um, we'll see. I'm just going to go through a little bit of this island. I have not finished this island, by the way. I'm afraid to because it's so badass. Um, classic right here. Classic. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, he's battle ready, by the way. Um, my Crash Bandicoot. I've been trying to max out all his levels as, as best I can. It's, uh, there's some nice little RPG elements in this game. Uh, this one right here is a little bazooka you remember the bazooka that shoots the wampa fruits i'll have to finish this level to get that uh he has an uppercut kick he seems like i said he seems to really be battle ready uh if a next installment of playstation all-stars is gonna come out he is definitely gonna be in it with the relationship that activision and sony have as we all know so let me show this uppercut real quick oh wait that's the wrong one Okay, there it is. So, it's a little uppercut right there. Slide kick. His classic spin. Which he's really kicking and punching real fast. Um, the, the dynamite box. Uh, the crashing down. The dive kick. That can turn into a slide kick and the uppercut, which is a three combo right there. But he's ready. He's battle ready. Um, so, I'm glad Crash is back. I'm glad they showed a brand new Mario. That's awesome. Um, I would not expect seeing a Nintendo trailer without a new Mario. I think... That system is going to sell very, very well. I just hope it's priced nice. Now, the competition between Nintendo and Sony is going to be the only competition Nintendo even cares about. Because their system is a console. Even though it's a very, very fascinating hybrid, their system is still supposed to be a console. Even though it's basically a handheld. I don't really know what to make of it. Um, it should be priced anywhere between $300 and $400. It is some pretty advanced technology. We don't know about the graphical specs. Can it do 1080p on every game? Can it do 1080p 60 frames on every game? Or is it going to be like the Xbox One? It'll be anywhere between 720p, 1080p, 30 frames, and 60. Um, the pricing will be in comp competition with just a standard ps4 which is now 300 dollars and the old original models of the ps4 are like anywhere between 270 and 280 from what i saw on amazon it could go lower when the pro comes out the value of the, the classic ps4 is it would drop so you gotta have a price competition with that and of course a constantly price cutting xbox one and xbox one slim that microsoft likes to cut the price of all the time um, so, yeah, I mean, I think Nintendo should be alright, as long as they have a good interface, a rewarding system like trophies or achievements, uh, have a good online infrastructure, great pricing, and the battery life for the tablet, uh, is very strong. But, like I said, I don't think the battery life for something so powerful should be very long. I, I mean, I would expect it to be at least five hours, at least five hours. Um, the PS Vita is five hours. So if 
that uh, the the Nintendo Switch is higher than twelve. Uh, sorry, higher than five hours will be awesome. Um, I hope that the developers that they listed are gonna give them undying day one support. So if those developers, which we clearly know made a lot of games this year, some of their latest games that they produced and re re released this year should be day one on the Nintendo Switch next year when it launches. Um, but yeah, there's there's still some stuff I want to see. And I guarantee you they will have their next Nintendo Direct very, very close to the PlayStation experience of 2016. Uh, so... Am I excited? Yes. Am I interested? Yes. I really am. Uh, but there are some key things that I listed in this video that I need to see.